Hello, hello, hello. I'm Linda, and welcome to my channel. I should tell you that. Okay, I do. This is part two of a trade I did. I show you part one where I traded for, and this is what I got. I know this is probably not real bad. It doesn't look like. And then I got this other bag that had nothing in it. But then I got this shirt. Try it on. See, see how it fits. So we'll try on. I'm not taking off my shirt though. I'm just gonna put it over just to see how it looks. See how this shirt looks. Let's do a try on, try on, try on. See how this shirt looks, the new shirt. Yay. Yay. A new shirt. Another new shirt. I need another long sleeve shirt. Oh, I'm so fat. So what do you think? What do you think? It kind of looks good. It probably look better when you put that on a shirt underneath. But what do you think? I like it. I like it. That was. I like it. I like it. Put my sweater back on because it's chilly. It is chilly. It's like forty something outside right now. It's like forty something. I can go my tablet really quick. Hold on, everybody. I got her message in me. I got her message in me. And dogs are. I gotta see what else she's stuck in. <sighs> Stupid. Everything's gonna mess up. My hair is a wreck. I've been not feeling well today though. Let's see what else. I don't know what kind of bag this is, but this looks pretty. Does it have a tag? Does it have a name? Doesn't look like it has a name. Oh, and then I asked her for these pants. These look like. I don't think these are going to fit me. I don't think they're going to fit. Another axe. Another axe. Give me makeup. I didn't want the makeup. I didn't want the makeup. I didn't want the makeup. Because I get my ipsies. Because I get the ipsies. This cool bracelet. Another makeup bag. To try to resell it or something. No name. Poker or something. Oh, this smells good. Strawberry. By what? Signature collection. I asked for the Britney Spears. Okay, that's the Britney Spears. Oh, that's not even open. Cool. It's not even open. It's not even open. So she kind of didn't give me everything I wanted to do through. But I just took it because I kind of wanted to trade. So I got some cool stuff. Got some cool stuff. Got some cool stuff. Figure out what I'm gonna do with some other stuff. I don't think these pants are gonna fit. <sighs> this looks like a fake purse. I don't know where I'm gonna sell it. It's hard. It's hard to sell fake stuff, you know. 
this is what I got for a trade. Is, do you think I did a good, get a good trade? And she gave me all this makeup that I didn't want. I didn't want this makeup. I got makeup from Ipsy. I don't need extra makeup now because I got Ipsy. Okay, this purse may be doable. I might use it once in a while. It looks, I don't like the strap so much. I don't like these straps so much. I'm not really a strap person. Maybe tomorrow I'll open up all those freebies. And we'll see what I got. Because tomorrow will be mail again. And then we'll... Oh, my hair. I want to get more pink in my hair too. I like the pink. I think I'm going to go for pink. But I want to see what else she wrote to me. See, now she said, Oh... I'll find some more stuff. <laughs> Baby, stop. She's barking. She, she keeps hearing stuff. I got, I don't know what I'm going to do with those Coca Cola earrings. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. Anybody know what I should do with those? But well, that's the trade I did. Do you think I did a good trade? This is part two, showing you what I got. I'm tired. I'm ready for bed. My throat's kind of sore. Right here kind of hurts. Well, thank you for watching. Thank you for adding. Thank you for comments. I just feel crappy right now. I want to put more pink in my hair. I want to buy some more pink. I'm 40 and I want to be popular, feeling like pink and different. I don't know. I just want to look good. Bye. Thank you. Subscribe, comment. My address is Linda Bell, 32 Water Street, Apartment 3, Messina, New York, 13662. I should get a P.O. box. That's what I really should be doing. I still am kind of pissed off that somebody in this building is using my address and my apartment number. That's going to stop. I mean it. I'll make sure of it. Because that's not right. I don't. I think it's those drug people. That's all I need is fuck freaking them try to rob me or something because of them. You know what I mean? That wouldn't be good. It's not like it was a misplaced, you know, envelope in the, you know, ma my mailbox with, with the, their address on it. No, it was my apartment number on that piece of mail. You know what I mean? It's not like they lived in this apartment. You know what I mean? I've been here eight years. I would have gotten mail sooner with that name. You know what I mean? If it was like, you know what I'm saying? So that's kind of scary that they're trying to use my address. And they don't live here. And if social service finds out, they'll think that, you know, somebody's living here when they're not. Bull crap. I need them to start investigating then because they can get in trouble for a fraud. That's all I need. Or, you know, them complaining to me and when they don't live here. I don't know who that, I really don't even know that person, that that name. But I know they, they get packages. I see them get packages left in the hallway a lot of times. I'm looking, I see packages outside, out in the hall. I'm like, ooh, a package. Let me see if it's for me. Nope, it was that name. But that now that all of a sudden they're using my address, my apartment number. And you don't live in my apartment. So I'm kind of pissed off. <sighs> we'll figure out. Because I'm not going to be having people use my apartment number. I told the landlord, do you think they care? No. 
Oh, just put it up on the hall. No, I know what I did. I wrote return to sender. I wrote don't live in apartment three. And I went to the blue mailbox out in the street all the way there. And I put it in that mailbox instead of leaving it out in the hall where those people can get it. I put it in the mail mail mailbox. Because I'm not going to have it. You know what I mean? Screw it. Why let them get mail like that when fucking, you know, so they can keep using my address? No. I'm going to put a stop to it. I don't going to play the games. You know what I mean? They want to play games? I'm going to put a stop to it. Seriously. They don't know what they're messing with. Especially using my freaking address? No. No. I'll become a cranky little old lady then. And start messing with me. I don't like that. You know how I complain about not getting mail? Well, I don't want to get other people's freaking mail. You know what I mean? I want mail for myself, not for other people and them using my address. Freaking, you know what I mean? It's bull crap. And then if, say, social service or HUD or something that I'm getting help from sees it, and then they're going to be, like, investigating, and I'm going to have to explain to them they don't live here. I don't know why they're getting mail at my address when they're, that's fraud then because, you know what I mean? I'm going to have to, if that's going to keep happening, I'm going to have to call the cops and have them investigate. That's all I need is cops come banging on my door looking for them. You know what I mean? That would be bull crap. I don't need that headache. <sighs> Let's see how many samples so far I got, unless I get anything tomorrow. I don't know. I might get stuff tomorrow, too. That's why I want to wait till tomorrow. That's why I'll wait till tomorrow. I make sure I get any more tomorrow, and then we'll try to open them all tomorrow. Just let's see how many I have. Let's see how many I have. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one so far. Twenty four. 21 so far. 21. 21 freebies I gotta open up. I'll do that to maybe tomorrow. We'll do that maybe tomorrow. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Ah, I'm tired. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. I'm tired. I won't go to bed. Let me make some soup. I have this baked potato soup I like. Let me make that and get ready for bed. I'm not feeling too well today. Just so tired and it's a little hurts and I look at crap today. I woke up feeling blah. His dog is still here and I'm tired. I found a lot of toys today for my my little puppy, little baby. She got a lot of new toys today. I wasn't planning on making a video of trade, but that girl wanted to trade, so we did that today. I gotta get more stuff to do more trades. I don't tell her how I got my stuff. It's not anybody's business. Well, you all have a good night or good day whenever you see this. this is part two to the other one I'm going to upload. So, bye-bye. Thank you for watching. Thank you if I'm, if I'm boring. I'm sorry. I'm trying. I want to make my stuff pop good. <laughs> I'm tired, though. I don't feel good. I haven't had good sleep, really. 
my mind's been thinking about so much crap. And then, get this, a couple of days ago, I get this friend request from this guy that broke my freaking heart. Like four months ago, three or four months ago, three years ago, I met. Really? Like, I really want to add you after you really hurt and destroyed me. This is when I was going, really pushed me to get my divorce and everything. And it was a big mess then that with that guy, no, I'm not adding that guy. Screw it. And then they tried to get me, get a restraining order against me, him and his girlfriend at that time when it was a big mess. He's trying to add me now after three or four years. After I already feel better about myself that I don't need, you know what I mean? My heart healed from that guy. I'm not going back out. He can go freak this out. After he messed, was talking to my ex before in the past. So he can go F his self. You know what I mean? I'm not going after that. I'm not going to say his name. It's an M and, and it starts with. But I'm not going to mess with that guy. No. I've been... I'm happy with the way I am with this other person. My friendship with my friend. And I don't need that person. And I don't need him to ruin my life now so screw him he can try to add me and I'm gonna just ignore it don't need him I was shocked to get that freaking friend request I'm, I thought he got married and freaking you know what I mean you know whatever that's been on my mind too like why is people from the past keep trying to Go after me. Seriously, men like, seriously, I'm telling you, people can't resist me. They come back crawling back to me. They do. They really do. They miss me. They really, really miss me. I'm addicted. I'm addiction that way. They get addicted to me. They don't want to admit it, but why are they going to come bother me then? Right? Something I do or something I am, they just get addicted to me. I've been having people from the past keep bothering me. Well, bye everybody. That was just a little something I wanted to say. You all have a good day. Good night. My address is Linda Bell, 32 Water Street, Apartment 3, Messina, New York, 13662. You all, bye-bye.